on importing the word file the text frame had to stop short of those infographics a little bit lower down and to overcome this we need to kind of leapfrog it essentially using a technique called threading so with my text frame selected you'll notice at the bottom right hand side in what's called the output is red plus now if i left click on that it'll take me to threading mode notice the cursor changes ever so slightly and then if I hover my cursor somewhere else, lower down, I'll actually use the width of the re blue rectangle in the background as a guide again, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag across to the far right hand side of that blue rectangle and then just stop short of the Peak District logo before letting go. You'll see now that we have a second text frame with a line that connects from the output of the first frame to the import of the second text frame. That is the indication that these these text frames are connected via threading and it's essentially a containers. It's almost like we have a liquid text here. So if I was to um, contract the size of the first text frame, you'll notice the text spills into the second text frame where there is room. If I was to then reverse this and make this first text frame larger, the text flows back into it. So these are essentially just places where the text can appear. And if I select that second text frame, you'll notice it also has an output at the bottom right hand side, as all text frames do. However, we don't have any overset text. Everything's visible, so there is no red plus in there. But if I wish to, I could generate a third text frame threaded to the first two in here, and you could keep on threading for as long as you wish to. Um, so that technique will allow you to overcome challenging layouts where you can continue the text in a separate text frame somewhere else in the layout. Uh, so with that done, I will go to the file menu and choose save.